In the back. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Gonna be hard getting that stuff down his throat. Want me to get a funnel? A funnel? Yeah, that's a killer idea. So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy. Ah, that does it, Wen. You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should've said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I like your style. Do any of the people you've interrogated know anything about an attempt on Sung's life? You came to the right place. And you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance. So then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. Expose what exactly? Your overuse of quotation marks? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? I'm with an agency, but U.S. tax dollars don't keep the lights really? on. Really? SIS, Office of Secret Intelligence, Majestic 12, TVC 15, oh, wait, EPA. Something like that. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You remember a few years ago when Castro got ill all of a sudden? You did that? Well, let's just say I was in Cuba at the time, on vacation. That was you? Shit, I heard about that. Bravo. So, Ronald Sun, huh? Hey, did you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie Sun, Ronnie Sun. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Actually, all of the above. But right now, I'm most interested in who might want Sun dead. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time, I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But Sun? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sun's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. I didn't bring my conference pass, and I don't feel like waiting in line, unless it was worth my while. Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. I knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it.